a, a, a quick and a far-reaching jab that can beat out Zangief's standing strong in a lot of the ranges that he likes to use it, mm -hmm. and he has some of the best whip punishing tools in the game. Whipping normals is a big part of the way that Zangief likes to get in. Yeah, Zangief, let me just tell you, Boxer outclasses Zangief so badly in the ground game. Yes, until opinion. he gets knocked down. Yeah. Is he often for Dalson here? Um, somebody I've seen, I don't know, i um, watched a couple episodes of Excellent Adventures, and I've seen him bust out the Dalsim a little bit. Oh, showing a knowledge of some of the, uh, the anti-airs to use in this situation. Uh, Yoga Sniper, Patrick, still showing that he's not afraid to jump in. Um, you yeah, know, he... and the reasoning behind that is just that, yes, the anti-airs hurt a little bit, but if Zangief's able to get in and close that distance, he can get so much more expected damage out of there. Mm, oh, gets throw. thrown into the corner. Sets up the ultra. We'll see what the setup is here. Oh, and he goes into the instant air light punch for the overhead. Resets the situation. Now that's a double ultra, so it doesn't do as much damage as it could in other situations. Yeah. But really liking the choice of characters here for three tags. I have to say, you know, showing that uh, Patrick is maybe not as tight in this match as he'd like to be. Looks like he's getting a little bit frustrated. Misses the punish right there. Any air back strong. Yeah. And stand fierce to close it out. That was a really solid and well put together round from Gutex. Yeah, but once then you get in just one time and it's all over. It can be really tough. Yeah. And there is the opening we were just talking about. Now this is hard for Dalton. Oh, and the sweet punish. Back roundhouse, anti-air. Now we see Dalton with a slight light lead. Oh, not anymore. Oh. Oh, and the punish. And the nog noogie. Yep. Oh, doesn't go into the ultra that time. Back roundhouse, anti-air again. Gutex really making... Uh, good use of a lot of Dalsum's different anti-air options to deal with the fact that appears to be how Patrick wants to get in in this game. You know, the strategy is not working out that well for Patrick, so maybe he needs to rethink the angles that he's jumping in at. Yeah. Yoga Sniper catches him out right there. Oh! I think maybe that could have been into super, but Gutex was afraid it might whiff, so didn't want to risk it. Okay, it could all end with this mix-up right here. Oh! Oh! Oh, does not go into a combo. Oh, and the reversal super closes it out. Clutch stuff from Gutex. Really, you know, actually, pleasant to watch that, you know? I feel like that was quite a clinic on how to fundamentally you know, overcome Zangief in that matchup, especially yes. when he's getting too reckless in his approach. But to Zangief's defense, this is a really, really bad matchup because Zangief has very bad mobility. Yes. So yes. it's really hard for him to get in. <clears throat> Definitely true. Ooh, gets the trigger to SPD. And now this is hard for Dalsum. This is hard for Dalsum. You know, actually, in an interesting side note of Canadian Street Fighter history, in uh, Super Street Fighter 4, EVO 2010, um, uh, in pools, Snafu, uh, Dalson player from Montreal, actually beat Itazan uh, and sent him into the loser's bracket. Wait, I believe that was actually A2012, too. Didn't he? Was that in 2012? Oh, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it was 2012. Maybe it was 2012. Right. I watched that match. It oh, okay. was definitely 2012. <clears throat> well, I've been just corrected on my little bit of Street Fighter history, but the point is that, you know, Canada's, Canada's on the map. In yeah. 2010, what it was, is Eric High beat Tokido in pools. That was also 2012. That was also 2012. Yep. Wait, really? I, yes. I don't know how I remember, but <laughs> apparently some of... Okay, so this is a pretty good round for Gutex right here. Gutex keeping Zangief at a solid range. It's going to be very difficult. Oh, but and he that jump the already committed him. <clears throat> Dalsum's slow traveling fireball is very frustrating for Zangief to deal with in this matchup because preemptive jumps will often either get hit or just force him into a, a forced block situation there. Yes, and he it's really hard. If you fire at a correct distance, he can't even EX green hand through it. That's true. Yeah. Ooh, EX but yes. Yeah. come out. I like that, Larry. It represents, you know, I'm not afraid of your limbs, so I'm going to keep doing it. Absolutely. Okay, but still not for for Gutex. Oh, but... Gutex misspacing his anti-air there. That's what I mean when I say that. Oh, and here we go. This is a very strong start to the round for Patrick. And this does not look good for Gutex. No, should be able to close it out here. Maybe we'll see a reversal desperation super at some point. Oh, oh. oh. did not miss. He missed. It. Oh, good for the sweep. Sets up the ultra. I expect a cross up over here. Yep, just gets out to safety. Yeah, he did. He didn't really care if he got mixed oh. up. Smartly timed and smartly spaced EX green hand. 
Now, I wonder if Gutex is going to stick to his guns here and stay with Dawson, believing that his you know, fundamental approach in defense can, can keep Patrick zoned out for this last game, without yeah. a doubt. Goes back in without a moment's hesitation. Uh oh. Gutex a little bit nervous here, and you can see Patrick starting to use whiff normals to get in, mixing up his approach instead of just going for jumps. Oh, oh Joe Pierce tags him out. Throws him into the corner. Gutex able to establish some space here. This is a very bad position for Zangief on screen. Even though he's at the life advantage, yeah, still he has not to a work good his situation. Way he has to work all the way back to pushing Delta into the corner again. Oh, wow. Did I get and a beautiful oh. anti air from Gutex with the Tiger Knee Ultra 2. Um, once again, not a lot of damage because it's a double ultra, but Google able to. Ooh, Larry's out of the teleport. Oh. God. So tough against Zangief, those times that you swear you block the cross up and it still ends up hitting. A lot of pressure on Gutex right now. We'll see if he's able to come out with that clutch stuff that we saw in the first game to close out this round. Oh, a couple. Oh, oh. nice whiff. Back fierce is not what Gutex wanted to go for there. I think he was looking for jump back fierce and hit the wrong button. But back strong. Gutex. Oh. Once again, can't be deliberate, but he can't allow himself to get phased by that. He's. he's oh. oh. Focus. I think this is it. That might, uh, that might phase even the very best players. Oh, could have been a punish opportunity there for Gutex. He's back to the oh. corner and the jumping jab will close it out. Yep. Patrick advances into the loser's bracket. And now it's us.